Oops family seems disappointed that he beat his illness. Plus new update. I'm not the Oop. Oop has deleted their accounts. Original, 5 October 22nd My family seemed disappointed I beat my illness. My little nephew confirmed my suspicions. I, M47, was diagnosed with cancer about 6 months ago. I don't know what happened but I was misdiagnosed. It wasn't malignant as the initial diagnosis. Anyway I'm recovering. I don't know why but it felt like mom, F73, and sister, F35, weren't all glad about me recovering. I didn't make a fuss but I told my GF F38 about my observation. She told me not to worry and that they were probably still in shock. We were invited to my mom's house last Sunday and that's when my nephew, M12, was a bit angry and blurted out something about him thinking he was gonna be rich soon because I was sick. It felt like a gut punch. I'm child free so I don't really know when people start being assholes. But it felt like he's still too young for that so the next explanation is that he's heard the adults around him? I laughed and looked at my family. They pretended that they didn't hear. Only my GF watched me in horror. I asked my nephew why he would think he would get rich when I have my GF. He was confused. I saw my sister turn around at that announcement. My GF spent the rest on the evening holding my hand caressing it. Mum called the day after and she was dancing around the subject. Trying to find out more. I never discussed my will with anyone but what were they expecting? I've been with my GF for 13 years. She's the love of my life and my family. WTF is going on? I'm changing my will, excluding my nephews who I thought I would leave some for. It's going to charity instead. Update 1, 6 October 22nd update to my story with my family who seemed disappointed that I beat my illness. So this blew up. I wasn't expecting that and I can't thank you enough. The message is loud and clear. Marry your GF. In my defense, neither of us have ever thought about it. We're happy and we've always seen each other as each other's family. Unfortunately that's probably not how the world sees us and it's sad. About the will. I'm guessing the majority of you are from the USA, but where I come from, as long as I don't have children, nobody can really contest a will. My mom would be the only person who could contest and it wouldn't work since only children's inheritance right is protected by law and can't be willed away. I spent all night yesterday reading your comments with my GF sleeping beside me. She woke up around 3 am and smiled at me. God I love her beautiful face. I just blurted out, will you marry me? She smiled even more and said yes. And then snuggled up in my arms. I was in heaven. In the morning she asked me, did you propose yesterday? With the biggest smile on her face and I said yes. She said finally, with a twinkle in her eye and then she kissed me. She then told me that she was here when I felt ready to talk about my nephew. I don't have any social media but my GF does and she shared that we're engaged. Mum called me two hours later to ask if it was a joke. She asked why now and I didn't hold back. I told her that for the past 10 years or so I've been treated as a cash cow for my sister and her family always expected to pay and only the most expensive things my sister even insinuated that her oldest son m14 is expecting a porsche when he turns 18 and instead of acknowledging my generosity they were disappointed that i didn't die mom started crying at this swearing that it was all in my head they're all so grateful and happy that i'm fine but that i shouldn't forget that they're my real family. My GF is still young and she could move on with her life should the worst happen. But that they'll always be my family. Mom said that GF also has a career of her own and is childless so she isn't in need. I might add that neither is my sister and her family. I told mom well, that my GF always been my family and now she's becoming my family on paper too. Mum started crying again and asked me if I'm planning to disinherited the boys now because of a stupid comment made by a child. And if I did disinherit them. If that also meant I would disinherit my GF's niece. I told her that she should wait for me to die to find out. Shouldn't she? 
She said there's no point talking to me when I'm like this. She begged me not to do anything stupid and wished me good night. No congratulations. Nothing. Now what's left is to find my GF. No. My fiancé. An engagement ring. She's very simple and minimalistic. She wants something small and simple. Her only request is that I chose it. Please send any suggestions my way because I'm new to this business. I will put some photos of what I've found so far on my page since this sub doesn't allow sharing. Images. Tell me your opinion and give me your best rings. Damn this got long. Sorry guys. Edit. Not gonna make another update. Thanks again for all the congratulations. It felt good to get the support. And thank you for all the suggestions about the engagement rings. Since neither of us like attention. Especially my fiancé. What a beautiful thing to call her. We're eloping. She was very happy when she suggested that and found out I wanted the same. Instead. When I'm fully recovered we're taking a long vacation. To the Maldives or Mexico. Right now. I don't wish for anything else. Update 2. The 15th of October 22. Hi. I'm the dude who proposed to his GF after 13 years. I came back to make some clarifications because my post has blown up and it saddens me that people are getting the wrong impression of my relationship to my GF. That I have been stringing her along for 13 years. This is absolutely not the case. First and foremost, it's 2022. Women can propose if they want to. Second, you have no idea the amount of love and respect I have for this woman. She is my whole world. I find myself daydreaming about her eyes and smile whenever I'm away from her. We just never thought about marriage. We. W. E. If she was interested in the slightest I would have proposed one month into the relationship. Yes. I was this pitiful and desperate to be with her. My girlfriend was horrified by my family's treatment of me. But she being her wise and compassionate self didn't want to put more fuel to the fire so she kept out of it, just there to be the rock and comfort she always been. When I asked her to marry me in the middle of the night she understood that I was thinking about my family, and how this was what I wanted to protect us from them and others. My way of dealing with the blow from my family. And she snuggled me after saying yes the way she always did when I'm hurt. Her, finally, was being mischievous. Because we have been together so long. She also said I thought you'd never ask. Also playfully. I thought the, twinkle in her eye, explained that. She then continued showing support and reminding me that she's there when I'm ready to talk about. My family. Don't get me wrong she is very happy about the engagement. We both are surprisingly happy and it's ridiculously amazing since none of us thought it would be a big deal but it is. Our relationship has been like this very wonderful and exciting game and we have played all the levels to just to find another surprise level that we didn't expect to be there. So that's all. I just came here to defend myself because I'm petty this way. This sub doesn't allow links so you'll find my og in the comments. And yes, I want to show you the ring if you promise to keep it a secret from her because it won't be ready until a couple of weeks at least. Reminder I'm not the oop. Family are still twats. Marriage is still on. Lol at OOPs, I just came here to defend myself because I'm petty this way, I can feel that LMAO. He certainly has the redditor part down I guess. But not much of an update I think. Nothing's really changed. Always nice to read more about a wholesome couple though. So wishing them well in their marriage ahead. I spent all night yesterday reading your comments with my GF sleeping beside me. She woke up around 3 AM and smiled at me. God I love her beautiful face. I just blurted out. Will you marry me? She smiled even more and said yes. And then snuggled up in my arms I was in heaven. In the morning she asked me, did you propose yesterday? With the biggest smile on her face and I said yes. She said finally. 
with a twinkle in her eye and then she kissed me. Ah. She said finally. I had to laugh. I have been with my husband since 1995. We had talked about marriage but he wasn't interested. I was happy being with him and not being married was not an issue for me. No kids between us but he had two kids with his ex-wife that he had full custody of. Surprise marriage proposal in 2004. In public. At a renaissance fair. In costume. I am a reenactor and had garb. He borrowed armor from my best friend. He had arranged for lots of family and friends to be at the fair. When he proposed the first thing out of my mouth was, are you serious? Quote, the next thing I said was yes. We got married in 2006. The fact that mom still went on about him and his will is just proof that all he is to them is an ATM. I hope he just walks away and never looks back. I completely get it. I think if it weren't for the pandemic my spouse and I would have waited or held off indefinitely. But we wanted to make sure we were each other's next of kin in case the worst happened. And we had talked about marriage as it was. So we did a Zoom wedding October 2020. I'm sad we didn't get more of a wedding wedding sometimes. But honestly. Very happy not to have the hassle of an event like that. I like a gal with a sense of humor. Well, I don't know. This is all so sudden. What a beautiful way to describe a healthy relationship, game levels with another surprise round. Made me smile so big. With family like that who needs enemies huh? I would make sure they get nothing. They aren't entitled to it either so even if they protested they wouldn't get jack. God damn it I want to see the ring. You'll find out when I die. Loudspeaker 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 loudspeaker. I'm happy oop cut them off f hashtag ck them for being disgusting and horrible as h euro ll. And also the part with the girlfriend said, finally, made me crack up. I'm no gonna lie tears of joy. I'm happy others are having a fulfilling, healthy relationship. My fiancé proposed to me after work. I work from home. Was wearing holy sweatpants and a damn t-shirt. This man waited till midnight when I was off work. Listened to me wish a pox on all tow truck drivers. Then when I asked what he wanted to do the next day, he said, how about we celebrate? I asked WTF are we celebrating? He pulled out a ring and got on one knee and said how about this? Oh my goodness. So happy. I get to spend the rest of my life with the best person in the world. Proposals don't have to be elaborate. They can be very low key. Ours was and it makes no difference if the person doing it is your person. Damn. His mom's reaction to the engagement is super telling. I hope he never gives them another dime. Not sure why Oop is getting questioned about marriage. They have been together for 13 years. It's not like it's 13 days. Life events make people change plans or make plans. They are in love. Getting married. This is the happy ending. He's the family ATM. AKA cash machine. They were glad he got sick. Unhappy he wasn't sick and unhappy he's getting married. Talk about having the wrong reaction towards someone you are meant to love. Made him realize who and what is important. I hope he has a big over the top wedding. Has the best time ever. Invite every man and his dog but not his family. Put pictures on FB and tag all the not invited to watch my pure happiness and joy moment. Win-win situation. My boyfriend proposed after three months. I was 15. We moved in together two and a half years later just after my 18th birthday. We had a child 18 months after that. We bought a flat together. We had a second child. We sold the flat and bought a house. I quit my job and went to university at the age of 33. After I graduated at the age of 36. 
we decided that we ought to get married before our oldest turned 18. So we did. I was officially engaged for 21 years and one month LMAO. This year we celebrate our silver wedding. It could have been our ruby wedding three years ago if we got married before we moved in together. Not an update to be honest OPP does not need to defend his relationship with his fiance. Our relationship has been like this very wonderful and exciting game and we have played all the levels to just to find another surprise level that we didn't expect to be there. I'm unquestioningly and unapologetically and happily single. Dot, but this description made me go. Ah, I can almost almost understand why people have relationships. I don't know what is wrong with your sister. That she is so bold as to say that your nephew expects a Porsche for his 18th birthday. I'd find that highly offensive. It is apparent that the most important thing about you is that you have money and are willing to buy nephew anything his heart desires. I find it sickening. Out of the mouths of babes comes the truth. Sister is waiting to inherit as well. She, the one pushing this. People need to get a life. So what if they were together 13 years before his middle of the night proposal? Honestly, that's nothing about to hit 18 and a half years with my bf and no ring on my finger we know we're stuck with each other for the rest of our lives lol we knew within a couple months as teenagers plus we have had plenty of talks about marriage we know we love each other we'll be together till we die and it's basically just a piece of paper the only reasons we want to get married is if we have kids and to make it more than us being common law in case something happens. And also for me, I always wanted my dad to walk me down the aisle, but he's been gone for two years now, so I don't care anymore. We'll do it if or when we need to. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.